Hi, this is DJ Matteo. What I'm going to do is show you how to put Porsche 944 components onto your rear diagonal arms of your VW. So what I've got here is a uh, VW Super Beetle diagonal arm, the rear control uh, track control arm, and it's been rebuilt. So this is all straight VW right now. So what you're looking at is the arm off of the, uh, the right passenger side. This is the top. So we've got the uh, wheel shaft. All the bearings and the races are inside already. We've got new castellated nut, cotter pin, uh, etc. So we put it on a vise. And uh, let me show you which components we're going to be putting on here. So this is uh, this project's pretty easy. And everyone on the forum said it's pretty easy. But there are certain items that were missing and part numbers that I had to find on my own. So I just want to make this video to make it very simple and clear on how to do it. Okay, so for I parts, you're going to need a 944. Um, rear hub. So this is the 944 natural aspirated hub. It's probably off of an 8384. It's got the rear brake, um, emergency brake shoes. We're gonna be, uh, we don't need these. We're gonna take these off and change them out later. But for the purposes of this video, they're gonna stay on. Same thing with this um, rear emergency brake holder. We've got a new one from VW Engineering. We'll show you in another video how to put that on. So we've got the hub. Next, we got the Porsche bolts. These bolts are a little bit longer than the original bolts, and they're going to replace the four bolts that hold on the uh, dog alarm bearing cover. So they're size M10 by 1.50 thread pitch. They've also got a little kind of a thick, um, thick spacer, thick washer. There's four of those per side. Next, we have this little uh, what is this thing? This little O-ring. So it's a wheel bearing O-ring. Part number is on the package, 113-501-2918. We need two of these, one per side. We've got a torque wrench for torquing down the bolts. We've also got a uh, bearing seal. I'm going to be putting this inside the hub. In order to help us do that, we've got this cheap little pipe piece. So I went down to Orchard Supply. You can get this at a hardware store. All it is is that it's the cheapest one point, let's see, one and a half inch uh, pipe I could find. And basically what it does is it fits right over the bearing so then we can press it down into the hub. Super simple. We've got some Forma gasket uh, stuff from Avi uh, from Primatex. This is going to help us with the sealing of the uh, hub to the dial alarm. we got some uh, your standard grease. This is non-high temp, just regular automotive grease. We've also got a 3 8 inch drive socket with two sockets. One is a, what the heck is this? This is 14 millimeter and the other one's a 17 millimeter. And we also got the backing plate. So we don't need to put on the backing plate right now, but I'll show you how that goes on. It's real simple. Okay, so we're going to start by taking off the uh, castellated nut and the cotter pin in this bearing cover. We're not going to need the bearing cover. This is going to be replaced with the hub. These are 14 millimeter. The original VW stuff is 14 millimeter. So this uh, this has already been packed with grease. There's a ton of uh, bearing grease and stuff in here. So what the hub does is the e-brake cable obviously goes on the bottom. So this is the bottom of our diagonal arm. This is the top. So it's basically going to fit in just like this. Okay, step number one is we're going to take the bearing seal and we're going to drive it into the hub. So what I'm going to do is just lubricate it with a little bit of oil. And I'm not going to use grease because this is going to heat up um, when it's on the car. A lot of friction. That automotive grease, this stuff is not meant for high heat applications. So it's real simple. Just use a little bit of oil. That works fine. So 
to move up both the uh, hub and this guy. Hub and the bearing seal. Bearing seal goes open face down. So open face into the hub. use a piece of wood on top of this one and a half inch um, pipe. So the pipe's going to sit right on top of it and we're going to hammer it in evenly. So just be careful and take your time on this. We got the little bearing spacer there. We take the little O ring and I'm gonna stick it on. Okay. Now we're gonna take a little bit of this form of gasket and we're gonna paint just the outside where the bolts go just a little thin layer so we get some coverage and some seal be careful not to put this on the machined portion so you don't want it slopping all over the place you just want a little teeny bit I've done this in a while. <laughs> I like the smell of Permatex. It's funny. All right. Just push a little bit of that. Okay, here's, so here's the vacuum plate. Attaching this is really straightforward. You got, let's see, one, two, three, four bolts, I believe. Yep, four bolts that bolt this on. So it just goes around the back like this. And we'll fit in place just like that. Bolts go here. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, we'll go ahead and put the hub on. And then nail it down with some bolts. I'm going to torque down the bolts holding on the hub to the diagonal arm. I'm going to torque them down to the VW specs, which is 43 foot pounds. So I've got in my torque wrench and a 17 millimeter socket. So this should be set to 43. Okay, so last but not least, this is where the hub would fit on. So the hub itself is from a Porsche 944 and it's gonna just gonna slip over this wheel shaft and fit right on there like that. So you'd have the, uh, of course you'd have, you'd have the uh, disc brake that's going to fit over here and the disc brake is going to secure under this hub via a couple little screws. So that's about it. It's pretty simple. You can do it very fast and I hope this helped out just a little bit and made it a little clearer on how to do it. Thanks.